Hey everyone, just want to say welcome back. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to look at setting up the inputs for the Vive Focus 3 inside of Unreal Engine 4.27 using the Wave plugin. Um, by default, using the headset with the OpenXR template doesn't actually have inputs and it doesn't work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set that up so we can use Play and Editor with inputs and interactions and we get all that up and running so you can test the project. And then I'm going to show you how to set up the inputs again, because you need to technically do it twice. So when you build your APK to the headset, that the inputs work on there as well. So there's two different things that we've got to do, or like setups, two different setups that we've got to look into. Um, before we get started, I just want to say, if you are wanting to build your application with the APK to the headset, the Vive Focus, I'll cover that in the next video. But if you do want to get a head start on it, I have a video on setting up the Android Studio for the Oculus Quest. It is the exact same setup. You've just got to change your minimum SDK version or your minimum Android version to 25 and then your latest to 28. So if you're doing that, take that into consideration. So you should be able to build that way and then test it as well. Hopefully you've got that point working. So what we'll do now is we'll just jump straight over and we'll jump right in. So we're in Unreal and this project is set up the same way as the previous one. So we have the Wave VR plugin in the project and the plugins are set to use the virtual reality plugins of disabling the Open XR for the Oculus and then enabling Steam VR. They're really important, otherwise you won't be able to test. So what we want to do is we want to jump into our main project and there's a couple of things we can do. The first I want to show you is that if you really wanted to, um, there is, if I move this so you guys can see it, in the bottom here of our plugins, our content folder, so you go to view options and then show plugin content. We actually have the Wave VR plugin content here. And then what that has in Blueprints is a Wave VR pawn that already exists. This has teleportation set up into it, but it has, it, it's quite difficult to work with. I'll be honest, I don't even understand how it works which is why I set it up with the original template, just because I find it much easier to work with itself. And the documentation for this is pretty lacking. As you can see, the entire teleportation setup is just this, just sets the actor location and gets the information. So what we're gonna do is rather than using this, is I'm gonna show you how to convert the default uh, VR template blueprints folder VR porn into a working Vive Focus character, essentially. So you can actually jump in there and interact with it. So I'm gonna dock this back down to the bottom. Uh, that'll be all right. And in the VR pawn, we don't actually have to do anything in here just yet. We will though in a minute. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to our project settings. So it'll be edit and then project settings. Uh, I'm going to do these tutorials as though it's like super beginners because I'm not too sure who's going through them. But we want to go over to our input tab and then action mappings and access mappings. And this is where things can get a little bit confusing. So if we open up the action mappings and let's say grab left and we go to the plus, we actually have the option to add the wave controls in here. So wave is what the Vive Focus uses for the controller inputs. However, these inputs don't work in the editor. They only work in the APK once you build it to the headset. So we're gonna look at this later. I wanted to show you this just so you know that it is there and if you've been playing around with it, it's not on you, you're not doing anything wrong. You just need these set up and, so you actually need the wave input set up so it will work with the APK. However, you also need to set up the HTC Cosmos as that's what apparently Unreal reads the Vive Focus 3 headset as. So before we do that here, what we want to do is we want to scroll down on the left and you'll see in the bottom left where our plugins is, Let's see if we can see it on our screen. Ooh, just about. So on the bottom left corner here, we actually have Steam VR. We want to select this and then we have regenerate action manifest, regenerate control bindings, reload action mappings, or launch Steam VR bindings dashboard. We're going to do launch Steam VR bindings dashboard. So what I'll do is when you press it, it'll actually load up this window. And you can see here it says Vive Cosmos controller. So it's detecting 
the Vive control is, but it's not Wave, it's the Cosmos. This is where the whole confusion comes from, and it is an absolute nightmare. But what we can do is we can go to Edit, so Default Bindings for Cosmos, and we can edit these in here. And you'll see that they actually have no input set up. And that's what we're going to do first. So I've already been through and sorted this out. So I'm going to go through each individual one to make this work with our template. And I'm just going to do that by opening up a other project, which I've just done. And you can actually see that the inputs look like this. So rather than having to figure that out, I'm going to go through each one and I'm going to show you how to do it. So if we go back to our actual controls, first thing we'll do is if I keep looking back and forth, we're going to do the trigger. And then we actually want to set this to trigger. And what that does is it gives us options for click, touch, and pull. We want to use click, which would be trigger left. And then you see how we could do the same thing for the right. So we do trigger, trigger, click, and then trigger right. And then joystick on the left, we're going to do the plus. And then we want user's joystick. And for this one, we want the position to be our movement axis left. And the joystick on our right is gonna be another joystick with our position set to movement axis right. Yep, good so far, cool. So grip on our left is gonna be our uh, user's button. This took a while to figure out. And then our click is going to be our grab left. And then our right is gonna be our button. Yep, double check, and then our click will also be grab right. Uh, yes, cool. Then for the last one, so we've got two left to do, we want to go to the right A button, going to hit the plus, do button, and then we want to do click for movement X, uh, movement axis right Y, yeah, so it is that one. And then for our left, so Y button, we want to use this to toggle our menu. So button and then click. And then it will be menu toggle left. So I'll be honest with this one is you can use this to activate the menus, but for some reason the menu won't follow the controller. I haven't figured that bit out yet because normally I just delete the default menu and then create a, the attach the widget interaction as a parent or a child. That usually works a little bit better, so it's kind of up to you. If I figure it out, I'll do another video on it. But for now, we should be good to go. I think joystick, uh, movement axis left, that is right. So now what we can do is we can go to save personal findings. Just hit save. Cancel, and then if we jump into Unreal, we go to our VR template, file, save all. I don't think these will work straight away, but we can actually test it. What I want to show you is that we've got the inputs in there and it set up the Vive Cosmos, but because the Vive controllers are actually in it, we can see they're actually on the floor. So what we want to do is we want to set up our trace now to work properly. So we've got our left and right snap. That's all good. And grip should be working too, because we set that up in the Steam plugin. So we're going to hit escape. And what that's doing is it's actually running from the Vive left grips, I believe. So I didn't need to set up the Cosmos stuff. It was just the Vive, which is already in there, which is pretty great. It saves us some time. But in our VR porn, we need to fix our components. I'm not too sure if this is a bug. I haven't really tested it with other stuff yet since 4.27. Now I spend most of my time in Unreal Engine 5. But what we need to do is we need to go in and we need to change our hierarchy around. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our motion controller left be our parent. We're going to set our motion controller left aim to be in there. And then our motion controller right aim will be a child of our motion controller right. Um, let me double check everything. Looks good. We can hit compile and save. And then hopefully now if we jump in, we should have our plane editor working. So now I can actually teleport around, go up stuff, press the grip to do it, and then control it that way. So that's all working great. And our menu appears. So this will work inside of the editor for some reason, but when you build to the headset, 
this actually moves away from the controllers. And I haven't figured that part out yet. So what we're going to do now is you might actually notice that we actually have a set of controllers, which is in the project. This is great for the preview, but if you build to the headset as an APK, they won't actually be there. They'll be invisible. I'm not entirely sure why it's really annoying, but you can fix that by actually going to our add component and we can search for wave and we actually have a controller model. So we can take this and we do controller model left. So we'll just rename it. And then we want to right click, duplicate this and have it as controller model right. And now we have those. And now we need to change the hierarchy again a little bit. So I know this is confusing, but I just wanted to show you that it might look right in the editor. But if you want to build it now, it wouldn't work. It's a bit of a pain. So to set this up for the APK as well, what we're going to do is we're going to say the motion controller left aim. Uh, okay, what we're going to do is we're going to take the motion controller left. We're going to set that as a parent to the motion controller left. Then we're going to do the same thing with motion controller right. It's going to be a parent of motion controller right. Now for our widget interaction left, that is going to be a child of our wave VR controller model left. And then the same for our right. So widget interaction right will be a child of our wave VR controller model right. And then I take the motion controller right aim and set that as a child of wave VR controller model right as well. So what we have, hopefully not getting too confused, is we have our motion controller left with our motion controller left aim as a child. And we also have the wave VR component model left as a child of the motion controller left with the widget interaction left as a child of that. Uh, the same for the right. So I'll leave these here for a second so you can actually take a look through them. And then unfortunately can't zoom in, but hopefully that works. But before we actually build, what we want to do is we want to go to our wave VR controller models. And you'll see on the right hand side here, we've got a details panel and the controller model we want to set these to be right. So motion uh, device type controller right. And then for the left motion uh, wave VR controller model left, that is going to be set to device type controller left. So we hit compile and save file, save all. So after we've set up our components and that, so it actually works properly, we can actually jump into the plane editor. Uh, we can pop on the headset and then what we can do is we can actually move around, test this out and go over to it, pick everything up, interact exactly how we should do. So what we want to do now is actually set up our inputs to work when we build the APK. So in project settings, uh, what you want to do is you want to go to your grab left and you want to set up your wave inputs. So it'll be wave. So grab left wave would be left grip, wave left grip. And I think I've got it as axis on my other one, my other example. Uh, let me open that up, project settings. Ah, so I've got to set a touch. So wave left grip axis touch, touch, and then grab right is wave right, wave grip right touch the name of conventions make this a little bit awkward um trigger left is going to be our wave left trigger press yep trigger right plus wave Wave right trigger press. Menu toggle. Like I said, I put the menu toggle in here as well, but that doesn't exactly work too well. So toggle left plus wave <laughs> wave L, and that is Y press. So Y press. And then we have movement axis left X, which is 
wave thumbstick. Wave thumbstick X. And then don't think I've got anything in the grab axis left. Nope. And then movement axis left Y. Five wave thumbstick Y. Uh, wave thumbstick Y. Nope, should be left. Wave thumbstick left Y. Um, movement axis right X is going to be wave L, so it'll be thumbstick stick X. Yep, left. <laughs> it's it gets it gets you in the head. You start reading these out, and it just uh, starts mixing up. Wave. So wave, thumbstick, Y. So wave, right, thumbstick, Y. Excellent. So now that's done, what you should be able to do is actually build that APK to the headset. So just as a recap, recap of what we've done, we have went to our project settings, we went through to Steam, and we set up our Steam VR bindings dashboard to work with the Vive Cosmos controllers to set that up which we've then set up all the inputs to go through from there. So if you want those, here they are. You should really get those pretty easily. And then from there, we went into our VR pawn and we set up our hierarchy for our components to work here. And we made sure that our Wave VR controller models were set to the correct hand. I also forgot to say that I also set mine to always show as true and then hide when idle is false. So I'm going to double click or double check those. So switch those around, make sure they're right. And then we went back into our project settings, specifically our inputs, and we set up our wave inputs. So that's pretty much the setup for this to get you in there up and running and then moving around. And with the Vive con the controllers, you'll see that once you build the APK and you get in the headset, it actually has the button animations and actual but like controller status to tell you if your batteries are dying and what the levels are on it, which is pretty cool. So from here, you're pretty much good to go as setting this up as any other VR template. So if you work with the Oculus, you're good to go. It's just setting up the same process you go from there. Um, not much of the logic changes, but in the next video, I'll take a look at setting up some of the, working with some of the components that are inside of the Wave plugin that you can use to help build your apps and that kind of thing. So until next time, stay safe and I will see you then. Bye.